What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a Minecraft 1.2 server. To start guys, I just want to say, sorry for not replying to the emails for so long, I've had to get ready for finals and, uh, well I'm all done with those, so back to the usual. Okay, so to start, we're going to go ahead and go to the bucket download section, and you guys can either download the beta build or the development build. The beta build will be a little bit more stable because it is in beta form. But hopefully when you guys are watching this video, the 1.2.3 update will become the recommended build, so then it will be more stable. However, I do have to warn you guys that because this is still a beta build and it's not a recommended build, it will most likely cause most of your plugins to, be, to crash. So contact the developer of your plugins to see if they can update them and go ahead and update all of your plugins in order to get them to work with this. If they aren't updated, they'll most likely cause problems with this version. So, anyways, back to the video. Go ahead and download whichever one you choose. I'll be using the dev build for this one. And while that's downloading, we'll go to our desktop and create a new folder. Call this tutorial server. And you guys can call that whatever you desire to your heart's extent. Okay, so you guys need to make sure that you guys do have Java. So go ahead and open up CMD and enter and go ahead and type in java slash version to check your java version 1.6 or 1.7 will work for this if you don't have java i'll go ahead and link you guys to the java download in the description and by now the minecraft server jar should be done downloading so now we're going to go to our download folder and go ahead and take the download jar and drag it into our tutorial server folder so that there's going to be one more thing you guys are going to need to download that being the start.bat I've prepared for you guys when you download it it will come in a zip file so the first thing I recommend you doing is right clicking on it and hitting extract here and because I've already extracted it it's giving me this error message to replace to replace everything so I'm just gonna say cancel because I don't want to replace this and it'll come in this folder. You guys can go ahead and open it, and there will be readmes to tell you to guide you guys through the process. But basically, you just want to choose the start.bat that matches your operating system. So Windows 7 is 64-bit, and this is your choice here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, go into your server folder, and paste it in. So now, um, as you guys can see over here. It's called Minecraft server.jar, this part. So that means that your server jar that you downloaded from the internet must have that same name. So we got we have to just basically rename your server file to Minecraft server. And then you should be set. That's pretty much it. So uh, just make sure this name matches this. If you do get like could not access jar file, that might be a problem for, or that might be why. So let's go ahead and start up our server by double clicking and hitting run. Should start it up and it will, you will get errors at, this, at first. That is perfectly normal. And once it's all done, we can go ahead and start the port forwarding process. Now I've been doing port forwarding for quite a while now and I think I'll be able to teach you guys how to do it the best way that's out there. So now that it's done, you guys can go ahead and join your server using localhost and see that it does work um, but let's go ahead and stop our server so then we can start the port forwarding process so to port forward we are going to go back into CMD and type in IP config just how it sounds and a bunch of information will come up but what we want to focus on is the default gateway and the IPv4 address the default gateway is your routers IP a number you can call it and that usually is on a sticker on the router too but this is just another easy way to find it so this is what we're going to be entering into the URL on the internet doesn't matter which browser you're using so go ahead and make a new tab and type in just as this one was so 192.168.0.1 except for I didn't type it in hit enter and it'll bring you to your router's website now from this point forward I would strongly recommend using portforward.com 
great tool and you should definitely take advantage of it because it'll tell you a detailed guide on how to port forward for just about every router that's out there. So these are all model numbers of your router. On all routers, they will have a model number written somewhere on it, whether that be a sticker or just kind of built into the router somewhere. It will be there. So you just got to find that and then you will be able to select your router. So let's say I have that one. Skip the advertisement. And now we're going to find the application we're going to we need a port forward for. That being a Minecraft server. So we'll go ahead and find Minecraft server right here. And from here it'll tell you exactly how to port forward for your own router and it will tell you the default username and password. So for me, it's admin and the password is just blank because that's just the way it is for me. All of these will look different depending on which router you're in. So I'm just navigating to the port forward section of my uh, router website, web interface, I guess you ca can call it. So now that we're here, we need to go back to our CMD with the IP configs up. And as you can see, the IPv4 address is what we need to pay attention to now. So we're going to go ahead and take that into our memory and the 195. So we'll go ahead and call this a tutorial. And we'll go ahead and type in that number, the IPv4 address. Double check to make sure it's correct. And it is. And we're going to be for TCP, we're going to do 25565. And for UDP, same thing. And for my, me, I need to tick that little box and I'll untick this one to enable it. And I need to save the settings, but I do need to restart the router. So as soon as that is done, I will get back to you guys. So now that my router has restarted, we will go ahead and check to make sure our port is open by using the open port checker and we need to make sure our server is running when we do this so we'll go ahead and double click the start.bat and click run but if you don't want this message to come up again you can always click that and we'll go ahead and minimize this so once it is done you can go into this site which will be in the description put in port 25565 and hit check and if everything went well and you did everything correctly it should say open. Now, I already know that two bajillion of you guys are going to say, I got port closed on blah, 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 whatever this site is called. I don't even know. You get signal. All right. <laughs> um, but you guys just go ahead and email me, mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com, and I'll go ahead and try and walk you guys through the steps of fixing this problem. And hopefully we can solve it. I try to reply to you guys very quickly. So, anyways, now that my port is open, we can go into Minecraft and see that it is working. But first, we need to know the IP that you're going to put into Minecraft. That IP is going to be this. So that's what you're going to give to your friends and everyone else that you want to join your server. So, as you can see, it's already a server right here for me. And it matches 50.131.36.219, which is the same thing here. So... If I go ahead and double click it, I join, and if we go back to the console, we can see that I joined this server. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, if you guys did like this video, you guys can go ahead and subscribe. Man, what is with these MC Patcher or whatever the heck it is, errors? I thought I fixed it guess not anyways guys that is about it for this tutorial if you guys liked it you guys can go ahead and subscribe um i have got a whole bunch of other tutorials on plugins if you guys have an idea for a video go ahead and email me everything that you guys need will be in the description of this video and you guys can go ahead and check out my server at 50.13 what you guys saw Obviously, I mean, this, that, that's what it'll be running on when it's up normally. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kenny, and I'll see you guys next time.
Thank <laughs> you.